Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of your Dan's Reviews. Today we're going to be doing a review for this week's episode of Fear the Walking Dead Season 4. This one is going to be for Fear the Walking Dead Season 4, Episode 10, which is called Close Your Eyes. So, uh, this week's episode of Fear the Walking Dead was, in my opinion, a really, really awesome episode. You know, you guys know Fear the Walking Dead Season 4 has not been exactly my favorite season, but this episode, for sure, very, very exciting, and uh, I definitely like this episode quite a bit. Uh, probably one of my favorites from this season, no joke, I really like this episode a lot. So, um, let's just go over it, let's talk about it, and uh, we'll discuss it and all that kind of stuff. So I just want to say real quick, spoiler warning, if you have not seen the new episode of Fear the Walking Dead last night, which was season 4, episode 10, called Close Your Eyes, this episode was pretty much a bottle episode between Alicia and Charlie, uh, and you do get to see kind of a little bit of a, 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 not, a little bit of a bond between the two at the end, so... It's not too bad at all, and uh, I do like this episode a lot. Now, one thing I definitely say, uh, I will definitely say about this episode, the storm is awesome. The storm really added to this episode. I mean, you got the intro, you've got like the shaky camera in the intro, you know, with the storm and the raindrops on the, on the screen and stuff. Oh man, so, so cool. Um... The intro was so sick with the uh, the intro credits and stuff like that, and you see like the the intro music, and you got like the storm and stuff, and the camera shaking. It's really really cool for sure. So um, that's a really cool part. But this episode for Alicia fans, if you're an Alicia fan, you'll probably love this episode. Um, if you're not, then well, probably not to be honest. But this episode is awesome and. Plus, Alicia is one of my favorite characters in Fear the Walking Dead, so uh, this episode was a really exciting episode to see for sure. So uh, we start off. We've got Alicia who goes into a house for uh, you know to take cover and stuff uh, during the storm. You've got kind of a silhouette shot of her when she opens up the door, which kind of reminded me of Rick from season eight when he was walking down that hallway. It almost had the same type of look to it, you know. Um, but anyway, so then she walks up, and then you see her and, and stuff, and then of course she uh, is you know going to take safety she's kind of clearing the place and then of course she finds out that somebody is in the house and she's kind of like all right I'm gonna give you one chance to leave you know and then she's like fine you know and then uh she kind of searches the house around a little bit and she kind of looks for the person because she knows somebody's in the house and uh she pretty much finds out that it's Charlie and she's talking to her on the other side of the door and stuff uh, you know, because of course, uh, you know, Charlie tries to kind of run from her and then, uh, she pretty much pins Charlie down to the ground and then puts the pipe right up to her, right to her throat, right? And, uh, you know, she's kind of like, you know, she's kind of scared of, uh, Alicia and stuff and... And then she gets away and locks herself in this room, of course, and then uh, Alicia's just like, you know, why are you here? You shouldn't be here and stuff. If, you know, did you come here to kill me? That type of thing. And uh, just why are you here? That, that whole thing. So, uh, of course, she kind of talks to her and stuff. You uh, uh, end up finding out that uh, Charlie has a gun, but it's not to use on her. It's actually to use on herself. So we get into some dark stuff a little bit. Um, and, uh, yeah, Alicia's pretty much talking about how she's, you know, pathetic and stuff like that. And she's kind of a kid and stuff. And it doesn't matter if she's a kid, you know. You know, you know, it's not, it's, you know, she's not going to forgive her for what she did, that type of thing. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all we get there. So, yeah, she's talking to her. You've got, you know, Charlie on the one side of the door, Alicia on the other side of the door and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, of course, uh, Charlie uh, is, you know, just in a very weird place right now. And she kind of, all she wants to do is die pretty much. So it's kind of crazy to be honest. But um, anyway, yeah, you've got that. Then you've got Alicia who go get some stuff, some food and stuff. She goes to the car and then of course uh, she gets knocked out or whatever. And then she wakes back up and you pretty much get to see that uh, it looks like Charlie probably saved her. So uh, then she gets her weapon and stuff and she's like, why'd you do that? And she goes out the door, why did you do that? You know, and uh, they talk once more again and and uh, pretty much, uh, you know, Charlie comes out and they kind of, uh, Charlie helps her put the board up and stuff against the window and stuff. And you've got, uh, you know, the, the two, you know, they sit down, they eat, and uh, you've got all that stuff going on. Uh, and uh, she still doesn't forgive her for what she did and uh, all that kind of stuff. Charlie goes to, of course, uh, see this like zombie that's outside or whatever. And she pretty much wants to just kind of die right then and there. And then Alicia kind of saves her, you know. And then they kind of have a talk afterwards about how, you know, uh, she's like, why'd you save me? And she's like, it's not because it's, it's not because I see something in you. Is that what you thought I was going to say? You know, and they kind of have this kind of conversation. So, 
then they decide to eat, of course. Uh, they talk about the beach a little bit, and uh, as the storm kind of comes in, then, of course, they, uh, you know, they go to sleep, and then they wake up, and you've got the storm, and then, of course, they have to go under the, uh, you know, in into the basement and stuff. Now, this part was exciting because they're in the basement, and the water's filling up really quick, and, um, you know, at this point in time in the episode, I, it was pretty intense, to be honest. And, uh, you know, you've got the, they're standing on top and uh, they're kind of, you know, you've got the water up to like right here on both of them. And, uh, you know, you kind of got Alicia who, uh, you know, she, she, like, Charlie's just like, can you use the gun now? You know, I don't want to be one of those things. And Charlie's terrified. And then Alicia kind of thinks to herself, you know, well, okay, whatever. So then she points up the gun and she's just kind of, she's struggling with it, you know. And this was an emotional scene too, because, She's pointing up the gun, you know, and then you've got, it goes into some of the flashbacks. You've got Nick dying, you've got Madison dying, you've got the stadium falling and all that kind of stuff. And uh, then, she, you know, she just can't do it, you know. Um, so then, of course, uh, now, this part is weird. So, um, the zombies somehow opened the door. Um, I've only seen the episode once, but somehow, that door was chained. So, I'm not sure what happened there, but somehow the door is open again and they get out and then they, they kind of look at the zombie or whatever. So, um, I'm not sure what to think of that scene. I'm not, I, I haven't seen the episode of twice, uh, a second time. So, uh, I'll, I'll have to rewatch it for sure. And, uh, just how on earth they got out of there. Cause, um, yeah, the door was chained. So I'm not sure, but, uh, maybe did I miss part of that? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, pretty cool stuff either way. Uh, so they get out and then of course you get the storm and stuff. The storm kind of ends and stuff. And then of course, the next day, they bury those people, of course, uh, kind of the, the one thing that goes on throughout the episode with this, uh, you know, these pictures and stuff, they bury, uh, you know, the bodies or whatever, and then, of course, uh, she goes to, uh, Charlie goes to give Alicia her weapon back, the pipe with the spiky end, which I love that weapon so much, and then Alicia says, you keep it. Um, and, uh, look, it, it, you know, it kind of, cause then, of course, they leave, and then they're kind of, you know, they're talking about the beach, and you kind of, uh, you know, Charlie ends up finally seeing her parents and stuff, so that, that was, that was kind of emotional, kind of cool, kind of, you know, kind of a, a touching sequence right there, and, uh, anyway, what I was going, where I was going with this is that once they get to the bus, and the bus is crashed, it's kind of cool, cause when they go to kill the zombie, Alicia's kind of like, you know, toss me the weapon or whatever, so I wonder if they're gonna share the weapon, I, that'd be kind of cool between Charlie and Alicia if they shared that, uh, pipe with the, uh, you know, the spike on the end, that'd be kind of cool if they should, like, shared the weapon or something, so, uh, yeah, but, of course, this episode, one thing that definitely did not disappoint is the storm, I love the storm, and the storm was probably one of the best parts of the episode itself, um, but this episode was such an awesome character episode, now, you could argue it was a bottle episode for sure, yeah, you could go ahead and say that, but, Either way, I thought this episode just nailed it. I really did. Um, I know Fear the Walking Dead, I complain a lot about this show, and uh, you know there is that one odd episode every once in a while that I'm really not a fan of, and uh, this one was not one of those. This one was actually an excellent episode for me. I really, really liked this episode. Uh, you know, I know a lot of people are complaining. I get the complaints for the mid-season premiere. I did not like the mid-season premiere at all. Um, there were a lot of problems with that episode, but this episode was stellar and it was awesome. So, um, that's just my opinion. I think this episode beats the, uh, mid season premiere by a long shot. And, uh, you know, this episode definitely really, really helped, uh, Fear the Walking Dead this second half out. Now, yeah, like I said, this is kind of a bottle episode. So that is one thing you could make a case for. And, you know, you could say, now, I don't like bottle episodes, but, you know, I know a lot of people probably, you know, some people feel differently. Now, Walking Dead are, in Season 8, they kind of laid off those bottle episodes a bit. Uh, in Season 7, they did that a lot. And then, you know, I find with Fear the Walking Dead, they're doing a lot of it this half. And I feel like that's what this whole half is going to be, is bottle episodes. Because next week's going to be Morgan, Mor uh, Morgan only. Then Episode 12 is probably going to be Alicia and, or, uh, I mean, uh, Althea and Naomi. And then Episode 13 will probably be Strand and John. And then, you know, we'll probably have to see. But... It looks like this, the majority of this back half is going to be, uh, separated with all these different separate, uh, you know, groups and these, uh, pairs, you know, of people. So, uh, we'll have to see, uh, definitely very exciting stuff for sure. Uh, we'll have to see where Luciana went. So, uh, that'll, that's, uh, one thing. She kind of ran after Charlie in the last one. So we'll have to see where she went. I'm not too sure at this point. But anyway, guys, this was an awesome episode for me. Really, really enjoyed this one a lot. And I think this is one of the best episodes of season four of Fear the Walking Dead. Not me 
maybe not one of the best of the of the show or anything, but one of the best this season, I would say, because I really didn't like uh, the midseason premiere, like I keep saying. So, um, anyway, cool stuff for me. This one out of my uh, ranking list, I'm going to rank this one as a very good episode. I think this is a very good episode of Fear, and I think... I think you could definitely make a case that this episode, you know, this episode probably one of the best uh, episodes for Alicia, for sure. And, you know, Charlie as well, you know, you kind of, you know, you can kind of feel for the kid just, just a little bit, you know. Uh, I'm still mad at the fact she killed Nick, but, you know, you can kind of feel for the kid a little bit. So, uh, yeah, really awesome episode, though. Either way, love this episode, and, uh, yeah, really cool stuff. Definitely, if you're an Alicia fan, you'll like this episode for sure. So, anyway, guys, this is a very good episode, in my opinion, and, uh, yeah, I'm going to be back for my predictions for episode 11 later on today. So don't forget to catch that. And uh, thank you guys for watching this video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.